Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Getting Into InfoSec Bytes. These are going to be short videos about anything related to getting into the information security and cybersecurity field. So it could be news updates or just feedback I get from listeners, anything I find, resources and things like that. Of course, check out the podcast. And if you like these videos, please like and subscribe and let others know about them. So the first thing is I got an email from a listener in India. And they are go they're going to be graduating with a electrical engineering degree, and they're thinking about doing a graduate study in cybersecurity. And they kind of wanted to know everything that's out there, universities, things like that. So it's a really big question. Um, but what I could do, what I what I did suggest, are a couple of things. Um, so there's one resource I did find today, and that's by Dr. Gerald Auger. And uh, Dr. Gerald Auger was the uh, co-host of the InfoSec ICU podcast. Uh, which just ended, but he also has a YouTube channel called Simply Cyber. So check that out as well. And here he created a, a resource of a variety of free things you can do, uh, especially during this COVID period of time, but things you can do uh, related to cybersecurity that is free. So um, definitely check this out. He had it divided into conferences, training, instructor-led webinars, books, podcasts, college courses, so it's really good. Um, and if you find anything, please contact him and let him know. He could update the list. So, um, it, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but there's a lot of information out here that will help you get into the security, uh, both mindset as well as um, understanding uh, more of the technical side of things as well. One thing I do, I do want to point out is, for example, uh, 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 one of the podcasts, and as a podcaster, uh, I'm going to like podcasts, um, but definitely check out the Daily Information Security Podcast by Sands. That is, uh, I used to make it a requirement when I taught a boot camp before, and I, in fact, I would quiz students uh, before they came in about some of the security news. And the reason that's important is uh, in order to uh, be a security practitioner, you need to know what's going on out there and some of the vulnerabilities that are out there. And it's really hard to keep up with it. Uh, and this is one really good way to uh, understand the the big landscape of, of security that's out there. So uh, definitely check that out. Um, they'll also check out the uh, Darknet Diaries podcast by Jack. Uh, that's also a really good one uh, to really get you into the mindset. I think mindset is really important. And I, 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 we've talked about that a lot on the show. So um, yeah, go ahead and check out these resources. But again, to answer that question is, you know, what does one do? Where do they go? Well, the other thing I would recommend would be the NICE cybersecurity framework by NIST. And the reason I recommend this website is they, ha they have a, a, a lot of resources dedicated to uh, what the different positions that are out there, what's a typical job duties, uh, job descriptions, things like that. These are really important to know. Um, and very helpful. And in fact, they have a spreadsheet that lists some of this stuff. And then if you go into resources, you'll see a one pager and, and, and things like that. So definitely check out the NIST framework. Um, visit this website often. It's very deep. Uh, go in there and, and find a lot about there. Uh, one thing also related to that is something called the cybersecurity career pathway. So I found this. This is really interesting. If you're coming from uh, one of these backgrounds, uh, it kind of shows typical ways that you, you know, would, uh, different ways to get into the field. So whether you're an auditor, uh, whether you're an analyst, whether you're an investigator, uh, again, there's so many different ways. There is no linear path. So I really would take this with a grain of salt. However, uh, there is some truth to, to some of this. So, uh, take a look at some of this, understand, uh, what's out there. Um, some of the, quote unquote feeder roles, but frankly, you could be a librarian, you could be a paleontologist um, and still get into cybersecurity, or you know, you'd be a doctor of kinesiology, so a professor of kinesiology. So there's a lot of different examples. I talk about that in the show, but this is not about the show. This is about you trying to get into the field and please like, please subscribe. Uh, really thank you for watching this video and uh, please put any comments you have and let me know any questions you may have. Thanks, bye.